Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Głowacki and today I'm going to use Delphi XE for building a simple multi-tier database application using DataSnap technology and Embarcadero Interbase XE database. The difficulty level is Hello World and this demonstration will be as easy as possible so even non-experienced programmers should be able to follow my steps. Our system will consist of a database, a server and a client. Both programs will be Delphi, Win32, VCL Forms applications and we will use Datasnap architecture and TCP IP as the communication protocol. Let's start from configuring a database connection in RAD Studio uh, XC Explorer. Right click on an interbase and here we have already pre-configured connection to IB employee. If I select modify connection I can see the path to my sample employee interbase database and test connection button to make sure that the connection can be established. You can browse through data inside Data Explorer so my employee database contains a number of different tables. I'm going to focus on a customer table. I'm going to provide a GUI to access and modify customer information in this database. If I double click in a customer I can actually preview the contents of this database table inside the RAD Studio IDE. OK, so I can see uh, that my uh, database is properly configured and now I can build a Datasnap server. For this I'm going to select File, New, Other and in the New Items category I'm going to select Datasnap server. My Datasnap server will be VCL Forms application. I'm going to use TCP IP as a communication protocol. I don't need any sample methods generated by the wizard. I'm going to make sure that the port 211 is open and here I need to make sure that I select TDS server module as my base class uh, for my server application. OK, click on finish and now we can save all, all the uh, files in this project. I can go into the data snap labs multi tire and my unit 2 is my form server unit and my two other units generated by the wizard. I'm going to keep the default names and the name will be multi tire server. OK, so now I have a multi tire server created. I can actually change this name multi tire server. OK, so in this way I can now uh, start and uh, work on my server. So in, inside the server methods unit I don't have any uh, methods and I don't have any components. The fastest way for building data snap uh, data servers is using data explorer and dragging uh, elements from data explorer into the VCL forms designer. I'm going to drag this customer node from a data explorer onto the my data module and I got automatically a SQL connection component uh, pointing to a database added to the form and also a customer uh, SQL dataset uh, component. These two components are already connected. The only additional component I need to add here uh, is dataset provider. I'm going to press F6 to bring ID inside and select the dataset provider component. This dataset provider component, I'm going to uh, connect it to my uh, customer through a dataset property and give it some uh, unique name, for example, DSP customer. OK, at this stage, uh, my server is already ready. I need to save it uh, and run it without debugging to make sure it is available for my client during the design time. Now I'm ready to add a client. So I'm going to create add new project, uh, create a VCL forms application. This will be my client so I need to uh, save it. Again I'm going to save it in Datasnap Labs in the same uh, same folder so my form client unit. This is going to be my uh, unit and my multi-tire multi -tire client as the name of my project. I'm going to give the project group just a multi-tire name. OK, so that's my client. Uh, in order to connect uh, to the to the uh, my server I need to have a, a SQL connection component added to the form. F6 T SQL connection component 
and this component uh, needs to be pointing to my server so driver will be data snap and I'm going to open this property to see that port is 211 host is a local host I don't need to have a, a login prompt and if I click on connected I should be able to connect at design time okay that's fine and uh, now I'm going to uh, add a special uh, additional uh, component that will provide access uh, to my uh, data set provider on the client for this I'm going uh, to add uh, to my uh, client a DS provider connection component F6 again DS provider connection and this uh, component needs to be connected to a SQL uh, connection also it expects a server class name there is no drop down here so I need to go to the server methods and here is the name of my server class is server methods I'm going to copy this name move to my unit and copy this name here so if I click on connected it should be connected so that's uh, that's fine now I can actually go ahead and add a client dataset component f6 t client dataset component uh, this client dataset component needs to be connected to my uh, provider connection uh, using a remote uh, server property and in the provider name uh, I should see DSP uh, customer uh, so now uh, I just need to add, add arbitrary data aware components so for this I'm going to use a T a data source uh, this T data source needs to be connected uh, to my client data set and now I can actually add a little bit of GUI I'm going to a little uh, panel component so I have a little bit of organization here so I'm going to move it to the top and uh, in the rest of the form I'm going to add a, a TDB grid as my uh, way to visualize data I'm going to make it uh, aligned to client so it occupies the whole screen and connect the data source uh, to data source now if I uh, click on uh, active uh, I should see uh, my client data set already containing data coming uh, from a database so now uh, to finish this application I'm going to remove the caption from the panel and I'm going to add a, a little uh, DB navigator component so I can perform some operation of a database uh, this DB navigator has to be connected to the a data source component uh, okay and now I also need to add a, a checkbox uh, so this is going to be my a checkbox so I'm going to uh, use this checkbox uh, to uh, open or close uh, the, the client uh, data set so here I'm going to add uh, one line of code the client data set dot active uh, equals my uh, checkbox dot checked property okay so now I should be able uh, to open the client data set and also when I work with data inside the client data set I need to make sure that at some point of time the apply updates method is called uh, so my uh, changes inside my client data set uh, are persisted so I'm going to add this button here apply updates uh, double click it and now just say client data set dot one apply updates minus one is a convenient value to not to limit a number of errors so now I can just run my client click on active I can change something max 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 mum and click on first post to post changes into the client data set and then apply updates to make sure that my database is updated now I'm going to rerun uh, the application and I can verify the the change was persisted in the underlying uh, database thank you very much for watching Delphi Labs